In this unit, we are going to explore the GSERGO soil geo database and then we are going to create a simplified form of that database so we can use that in creating the curve number grid. Before we get started, let's make sure that you have all the data you need and on the screen you see the data. So what you have is a land use data set cedar underscore LU. Then we have the GSERGOS soil geo database for Indiana. Even though the database is for Indiana, but we have modified it so we can use it for this unit. And then you will see a shape file called cedar underscore boundary. And then there is a text file called C and query. So this is a raster query that we are going to use in creating the curve number grid. Once you know you have all this data set, let's go ahead and open ArcGIS Pro. And we are going to create a new map. I'm going to save this map as CN Grid inside a class folder. You can save this wherever you have saved your data. And we don't want to create a new folder. We have already created a folder called CN Grid. This is where I have all the data. And I'm going to name my project as CN Grid. Click OK. What we are going to do next is go to View and say Catalog View. We want to explore the database in Catalog. And then if you go to folders, this is where the data is stored that I just showed you in Windows Explorer. So we want to explore the GSERGO database. And I want to change the view to thumbnail view. So we can see all these files inside the geo database so you will see that there are lots of tables in this geo database so the way the database is organized is that there are some gis features and then there are lots of tables so this table has more than 60 tables some feature classes that you will see here feet line feet point then there is also mu line mu point and the most important feature that we are interested in is MU polygon. And then you will see lots of relationship classes. So these relationship classes, some of them relate one table to another. So for example, you can see Z component is related to CO geomore description. Then we have horizon, C horizon table related to HS structure group and so on and then there are just independent tables and feature classes. If you click on any of this you should also be able to see the metadata associated with it. So that's why we wanted to explore this in catalog view not catalog pane which is what we do for most of the projects. So after we explore this, as I mentioned, the map unit MU polygon, this is the most important feature for us in this geo database. A map unit is a basic geographic unit in the soil survey database with a unique soil name defined in terms of its components. For each map unit, there is a unique symbol on a soil map and we are going to look at some of those names after we add this data set into our map. After we are done exploring, we are going to go back to map. So I just toggle between catalog and map here on top. And then we are going to add our MU polygon by using the catalog pane. So we will go to folders, C and grid, GSERGO GDB, and find MU polygon here. So this is MU polygon. I'm going to select this and drag it into table of contents.
and you will see the data added to the map. As I mentioned, the geo database that I had originally was for entire state of Indiana that will include a lot of small polygons and it will just slow down the processing. So what I have done here is I have deleted most of the features that we don't need and I have in only included the map unit polygons for three counties. Let's go ahead and open the attribute table for map unit polygon. So select right click attribute table. In the attribute table, you will see the area symbol IN039. And then since there are three counties, you will see three names for area symbol. So area, a map unit area in soil sergo database is basically a county boundary. So there are three counties and this is just the name given for each county. So IN087. And if I go down, IN003, and then we have IN039. So three counties. Then the two important attributes are map unit symbol, so MUSYM, and then you will see a numerical key associated with that map unit symbol, and that is called MU key. MU key and MU symbol are the two attributes that can be used to relate these geographic features with the tables that we saw in the geo database. Once we know a little bit about the data, what we are going to do now is we are going to create a simplified version of this geo database in the next unit.